Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Taurus for the month of November 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, I'm seeing a lot of white energy for you. Um, to me, this is divine protection. And it's also purity. Um, some of you might be in a little bit of a cocoon right now. Um, I feel like the full moon that we had on October 24th, which was in Taurus, probably had a heavy impact on you. And coming out of that, you're probably just like under some protection, some divine protection, a bit of like a divine cocoon. And that's okay. Um, it doesn't feel bad. It, it, I mean, the full moon might have affected you quite a bit. Um, you might have just come to some realizations. You might have done a lot of clearing and purging. And I think this is coming through now for the month of November because the full moon energies do last, you know, about until like the new moon, which is going to be sometime in November. And then we'll have another full moon in November. But um, yeah, uh, I am seeing I am seeing a blue color around you also. You might and that's a, it's like a light blue color. And it's a color I often see when I'm connecting with the air sign. So you might have an air sign around you that you're dealing with and that you're associating with. I'm getting Gemini. You may also have um, air in your chart in some strong placements. Maybe you're, maybe you're either your whatever, whether that be like sun, moon, rising, or Venus um, that <clears throat> that you're connecting with, um, that you're resonating with. You might want to check out those readings too if you do have air placement in your chart. Yeah. All right, Taurus. One more shuffle for you, and then. Taurus. Excellent. Okay. Let's see what we've got here for you. All righty. Starting you off. Overall energy. Ooh, okay. So this could be while you're in a little bit of a cocoon. You've got the nine of swords here. This is your overall energy. There's something that you're stressing out about. 
Um, or it could be someone that you're associated with that's stressing about something, about um, a situation with you potentially. Um, yeah, so this definitely could be why you have a bit of extra divine protection around you right now. But hey now, hey now, you've got the sun and that's okay. You've got the Ten of Wands here. And for a Taurus reading, this doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, me being a native Taurus in Western astrology, my sun sign is Taurus. Um, and so I definitely understand that whole situation. Taurans definitely have the ability to really thrive, even though they may be burdened down with a lot of different things that are going on. They may be carrying a heavy load. Um, so the, 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 the burdens that you're carrying may be why you have this nine of swords, this anxiety here. Okay. But ultimately with the sun here, everything is turning out just fine. All right. Everything is going to be great. Um, I do want to point out that, um, the sun is in Scorpio right now, um, and is going to be in Scorpio throughout, um, up until the end of November. So, um, and Scorpio is your opposite sign. So that could be, you could be connecting with Scorpio energy right now. You could be absorbing a lot of Scorpio energy right now. And Scorpio is about death transformation and things like that. And keep in mind, death is really not a bad thing. It's literally just a transition. Okay. So you really might be transitioning through some things. You might be going through a situation where, um, you're trying to release some of the burdens or at least some of the burdens that you've been carrying potentially burdens that have been causing you a lot of stress are being illuminated for you right now. Um, and this could be a situation in which you didn't necessarily, you couldn't necessarily see them before. Okay. But then underneath all of that, you've got the eight of wands here. All right. So whatever you're going through, you're most likely going to have a really, I want to say an easy time getting through it, but at the same time, I don't want to say that because it doesn't feel so easy right now. You're stressed out about it in some way, but also the eight of wands could be uh, communication. So there could be someone that you're, you could be connecting with someone um, and, you know, carrying a pretty heavy burden surrounding it when it comes to like your emotions, your feelings surrounding the situation. Um, but the sun here is saying that, you know, things are better than they may seem. Um, and you can, I'm hearing you can expect some sort of communication or some sort of swift movement um, in either direction. Either way, with the sun being here, things are going to be just fine in the end, okay? Let's get into your current energies or the surrounding energies for the first half of the month, first set of energies you have. There you go, death. Scorpio, okay? So you really could be, the Scorpio season might be pretty heavy for you. Um, you you really could be going through a transformation, uh, a change. Um, and it really could be around whatever burdens you might be carrying here or the, the energies of, you know, the sun being in Scorpio could really be making you feel burdened in some way, okay? Transformation or death is coupled with Okay, the Page of Wands. So this is rediscovering of yourself. I often see the Page of Wands as self-discovery, um, a transition, especially with uh, death here, um, a new way of being, a new way of seeing yourself, potentially even a new way of approaching life or a certain situation, okay? Second set of surrounding energies you've got. Okay, the King of Wands. So... You could be dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could have fire placement in your chart. Um, but I really feel like this trans, this transition, this transformation that you're going through is really quite inspiring. Like I, I feel like what you're in the ways that you may be rediscovering yourself or becoming inspired or passionate about something, potentially something new or in a new way, it's leading you towards um, becoming the king of wands in a way, or, um, um, gearing you up to be passionate and take some really strong action steps towards something that you might want. You really, you also could be dealing with a fire sign, um, connecting with a fire sign 
and your transition is helping them see the light in you, okay? Especially since this is falling right underneath the sun. Your transition, your new way of doing things, your death in, in a certain way really could be aligning you with someone that's taking notice of you and is might be wanting to move forward fairly soon or fairly quickly, okay? King of Wands is coupled with... Ah, the Seven of Pentacles. Yep. So this is literally what I was just saying. Either you're going through a transformation that, and, and you're understanding things on a different level. You're starting to look at the harvest of um, the seeds you may have planted in the past. This last full moon really may have helped you understand things in a different way. Um, see how you're harvesting, what you're harvesting, and how that came to be. And so all of this transformation could really be setting the stage for you to plant new seeds um, for a better harvest. At the same time, it could also be someone is noticing you in a different way. It's like it's almost like with the Seven of Pentacles here. If this is someone else, it's like there, there are um, they could be seeing what they may potentially be able to harvest with you, what they may be able to achieve with you. Um, they could also see how, be aware of how you are really reaping the benefits or the fruits of your labor, and that is quite attractive to them. Okay, your challenge for the first half of the month. Three of Pentacles. All right, self mastery, rebuilding, uh, teamwork. Also, so in the sense, if you are, if this is a situation within you, um, your challenge is to rebuild. Your challenge is to grow, to expand, to master master yourself in a new way. And that's really what I see happening here. For those of you that are connecting with the message in this way, that's what I see happening with death or this transformation and the Page of Wands. All right. Um, your challenge could also be, if you're connecting with someone else, it could be working together with them. And there could be some secrecy behind it. And now it could be a challenge because you don't really, this this person, either a fire sign or someone that's very passionate, a masculine energy, or someone that's embodying a masculine energy and wanting to take action steps, your challenge in working with them could be going through this transition. I feel like some of you might be aware of your attractiveness to them or at least your attraction your connection with this person and they may not necessarily be saying anything they may not be necessarily be taking any action right now they're kind of sitting back and just watching potentially making sure that this is something that they actually want to move forward with and so you're being challenged with working with them in that sense on an energetic level not necessarily doing anything physically but on an energetic level okay three of I'm sorry three of pentacles is coupled with the lovers. I mean, come on, guys. I was <laughs> I was just saying that. Now, then this is falling in both ways. Either you're connecting with someone else or this is you. Um, this also could be Gemini. Now, some of you might be connecting with a Gemini. And I, in the beginning of the reading, I was saying that I was seeing this light blue color that I often see with air signs when I'm connecting with air signs. And I was picking up the Gemini was the, the leading energy in that. It could be any air sign, but for some of you, it really is a Gemini here with the lovers. So in the sense that you're connecting with someone else, the challenge is to do the work. And I really feel like in order to continue connecting to with, with this person, in order to continue attracting this person into your reality, into your life, your existence, you are needing to choose yourself Overall, you are needing to choose to maintain your balance, maintain your work ethic. Um, you, your challenge could also be, um, you know, just focusing on work and that work, focusing on your work, your money, your finances, your stability, your foundation. Because often the Three of Pentacles can talk about working together either in tandem with yourself, different parts of yourself, or working in a teamwork effort with other people in order to build a new foundation or a more solid foundation to construct something, okay? So what's going to keep them attracting, what's going to keep attracting them into your life is you continuing to, to focus on you, which is something that I feel like you've been doing anyway, okay? Um, and then conversely, if this is just a situation within you, your challenge is to maintain your effort or to, to start an effort in choosing yourself um, at, choosing yourself instead of over choosing others, okay? And I often see the lovers, especially when it's depicted in this way, I see the lovers as a choice of vice over virtue. Vice being the man standing in front of the burning bush, virtue being the, the woman standing in front of the tree of life. 
Um, and virtue here would be choosing yourself, your desires, your wishes, your life experiences, your happiness over that of others. Okay. And I don't mean that in a selfish way, because ultimately, if you want to be there for others, you need to be there for yourself first. So that's what I'm getting at here. Your potential outcome for the first half of the month, you've got the three of wands. So you've been investing in something. And so now your potential outcome is you being in a position to reap the benefits of what you've invested in, to get to receive a return on that investment. Okay. Um, which is mirroring the energies, this current surrounding energies of you p being passionate and planting new seeds for a, a brand new harvest. So that would be the investment that you're waiting for the return on here in the first half, in the end of the first half of the month. The Three of Wands is coupled with, woo wee, yep, the Tower. So this is, and, and honestly, this is a good, this is a beneficial Tower moment. Um, this is a tower moment in which the tower moment here could, because this feels so good, this doesn't feel like something's being stricken out of your life. This is speaking to mainly Mars energy, which is creative energy. Okay. So you have, I really feel like you have in effect created your own tower moment in order to clear space um, for investments, the new to come in, in order for that return on the investment to be realized. The tower um, being the creative energy here would be striking down anything that would be standing in the way of this investment or this, this the, yeah, if this investment, come, the return, excuse me, the return of this investment coming into your life, okay? That tower feels very good. It feels very good mainly because there is some, there's a ton of work that's happening on your part in order to clear that space. This is so this is why I'm saying this is a man-made tower moment instead of a universal tower moment where the universe is coming in and doing something for you because you have refused or refused to do it yourself or weren't wasn't listening to things. Well, no. Here I really believe that you are you have you are listening and you have been listening. And so that's why I feel like the full moon really helped you with that. It helped you either clear the space or start or catalyze the energies towards clearing that space. And so here you have that death and transformation, the rediscovery of yourself, the investment being put in, the challenge of continuing to do that work, and then waiting for the, re the return on that investment, okay? For the second half of the month, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Page of Swords, someone could be watching you, could very well be this King of Wands, okay? Whoever that is, doesn't have to be a fire sign, it could be. And I'm picking up Leo here for the King of Wands. But often though, often the King of Wands to me really speaks more to Aries energy because the King of Wands takes action. The Queen of Wands is more Leo energy, but you could be connecting with a Leo. That's entirely possible, but it doesn't have to be a, sire, a fire sign. It could just be anyone that has a passionate drive towards achieving their goals, okay? Um, on top of that, uh, I'm, see, I'm sorry, conversely, now, if this is an internal situation, the Page of Swords here, did I say the Page of Wands before? I meant the Page of Swords if I did say the Page of Wands. But anyway, the Page of Swords here is you investigating, do a little, doing a little more research, okay? You could have come to a point, a little bit, I want to say it's a bit of a plateau in whatever it is you're trying to manifest, whatever new you're trying to manifest here. But it's only a little bit because now there is an opportunity to learn more and deepen that inv that investment in a much more beneficial way, okay? Page of Swords is coupled with, ooh, the Empress. Fertility. So you really may have come to a situation in which um, you're noticing abundance around you. You're noticing the fertility of the situation, of the environment. So you're wanting to learn more to really maximize the return on that investment. If you're connecting with someone else, this is that person watching you. You also could be watching them too. And there could be really, you could be really feeling this deep, loving, nurturing connection between you and this other person. The Empress here, though, is a very good, very good energy. And I, I kind of feel like ultimately nothing can really go wrong here because of this Empress energy. The, the, the environment is really, really fertile for you in this second here path or second half of the month, excuse me. Second set of surrounding energies you have. Okay, well, you've got the Four of Cups. 
Now, someone could still not be accepting an offer, all right? Someone could be passing up on an offer. Someone could be saying, mm, I'm still not quite sure. And that could be why you have the Page of Swords here. This could be you. If you're dealing with an internal situation, I really feel like why you have this Page of Swords energy and then why you have the universe coming through as the Empress saying to you, you really may not need to know as much as you think you need to know. You may just want to just go ahead and take this opportunity and just move forward, okay? The Page of Swords is understanding, is trying to understand something on a deeper level, but you really may not have to. Four of Cups is coupled with the Queen of Cups. So, if this is an internal situation, I'm hearing trust your intuition here because the Queen of Cups is a very intuitive person, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be, you know, uh, connecting with a cancer. Um, it's interesting because if you're connecting with someone else, and it's funny because I was seeing with the, the pay, I'm sorry, with the King of Wands here, I was picking up a Leo energy and this is falling right under, and the Queen of Cups is falling right under the King of Wands. So you could be connecting with a cancer or Leo cusper. Okay. Um, but this person, if you're connecting with someone else, this person is holding on to their emotions because they're not quite sure yet, but I am picking up that they are most likely very in tune, in touch, and very aware of the connection between the two of you. And they're just holding on to their emotions right now. Because to me, the queen of cups is very aware of her emotions, but she doesn't share them often. When she does share them, it can tend to be an overflow. It just comes gushing out, but she doesn't really let that happen too often. So this is someone that really could be keeping their emotions in check, is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> and not quite accepting an offer right now. Your challenge for the second half of the month, the Two of Swords, indecisiveness. Um, and this is leading, this is leading up, this is really mirroring this energy of, for those of you that are dealing with an internal situation, feeling like you need more information to move forward, to continue moving forward at least. The Two of Swords here is saying your challenge is, is not being indecisive about it, is allowing yourself to see things from the point of view of the universe, which is saying to you, you don't need as much information as you think, Okay. But in, in a way, I kind of feel like here, your challenge is not being stubborn about it and saying to the universe, no, I don't believe you. I need more. And the universe is saying, yeah, you don't need to be stubborn. Trust us. Okay. Two swords is coupled with, ah, the high priestess. See, see, what did I say? With the four of cups and the queen of cups here, trust your intuition. Well, the challenge here is trusting your intuition, trusting that the universe has your back, trusting that you... You're not going to know everything with the high priestess. The high priestess is just as secretive as the queen of cups. And this is not, this is not a secretive in a, uh, a bad way, in a destructive way. This is just that all of the secrets of the universe, all of the intricate details of a situation are not going to be known all the time. Okay. I really feel like in the second half of the month, you will basically have exactly what you need to continue moving forward in whatever direction you're moving in. Okay. Your outcome, your potential outcome for the second half of the month, you've got two of pentacles. Okay. So balancing, balancing the finances, balancing work and, uh, and home, uh, work and relationships. Um, not getting too caught up in work, keeping a healthy balance. The two of pentacles is coupled with Ah, the Knight of Cups. See? All right. So either, if you this is an internal situation, either you are keeping the balance here and moving forward with your heart's desire. You could be offering something to someone. Um, the Page of Cups, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups is also uh, an offer of love. So should you maintain the balance here? And I really feel like even though it's coming out as pentacles, I really feel like this balance is between 
it has to do with your emotions too. So keeping your emotions in balance, keeping your life in balance, focusing on you and uh, focusing on what you need to do to maintain your stability, your strength, your independence, your autonomy will continue to attract someone into your life and eventually they may really make a, a some sort of romantic offer towards you. That's beautiful, Taurus. Okay. Okay. So now let's get into your Oracle guidance from the unicorns for November. Taurus, November. Taurus, November. Um, discernment is catching my eye at the bottom of the deck here. Um, and I really feel like that is another message to keep your, keep your emotions in check, keep your balance in check. Again, you're over, you're anxious about something. Um, but the sun here is saying that everything is fine. So everything is much better than you think it is. Everything is going to work out in a much better way than you might be afraid of. All right. So with discernment catching my eye, it's really about maintaining, um, it's like a king of swords, queen of swords energy. It's like, uh, maintaining enough emotional detachment to not think the worst, to not fall into the energy of the sky is fallen when the sky really is not falling chicken little, everything is fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we've got for you, Taurus, for the month of November from the unicorns, your official message that, whoa, <laughs> All right. So yes, you can see that. Look at what came out here. Discernment. That exact card I was talking about. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. So you may not want to talk too much about things. Um, especially since I feel like things are still kind of in the planning phase, in a, in a bit of a development phase. So okay. Maybe keep emotions to yourself, but I don't know that uh, the, 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 the the sentence keep your dreams a secret feels a little more um feels a little doomsdayish a little bit a little bit I mean you don't have to talk too much but you know if you feel like you want to keep some things under wrap that's cool too and then underneath the deck you have action now is the perfect time to act take inspired action towards your dreams move forward with confidence take action do what it is you need to do for you to keep yourself in check, to keep your stability in check, to keep your life in line, all right? But action being at the bottom of the deck falls right in line with those of you who are um, rediscovering yourself, redefining yourself, and working on planting something new for a brand new harvest. Okay, Taurus? So, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much love to you guys. Um, I do want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving for those of us who are here in the United States. I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of December. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.